I welcome the opportunity to speak on this motion and I want to commend uh, the PBP for bringing it forward here this morning. Energy costs, as we all know, have been increasing consistently in the last number of years and families and households are now facing the highest ever electricity and heating bills that in many cases they have ever faced before. We've heard a lot of talk in recent weeks about the fuel allowance and any increase in the fuel allowance of course is welcome but we also have to consider the fact that the fuel allowance is extremely limited. Many, many people have lost their jobs both before COVID and during. We have a 15 month waiting time when it comes to accessing the fuel allowance for those on job seekers allowance. Those who are out sick from work, workers who have paid their taxes and who are out sick from work on illness benefit cannot access assistance with their fuel costs. And those on low wages that are being topped up by the working family payment also cannot access the fuel allowance. So all of that needs to be looked at on top of increases, which are of course so desperately needed Needed in relation to the fuel allowance. St Vincent de Paul in a major study earlier this year found that nearly 20% of working people are cutting back on fuel and electricity due to costs. So we have people at work who cannot afford their electricity and their heating bills and so we need to see measures, we need to see a discretionary fund to help those locked outside of the fuel allowance in relation to their costs. This is a suggestion we brought forward in February, eight months ago when we wanted to see this government take action in relation to heating and electricity costs. A report by the SRI published in August last concluded that increases in fuel prices for homes through a carbon tax will increase the portion of people experiencing fuel poverty. Department of Social Protection report in July 2020 concluded that low income households will be disproportionately impacted by carbon tax increases. So how then can this government knowingly increase the carbon tax knowing that those at the bottom are the ones that are going to suffer? And I would urge you to back this motion here this morning. Gurma